It's still the run-up and we're glad to know you're still there. And in this segment, we're just going to look at what we have seen on the, as headlines uh, today. And a very interesting one is the headlines we saw. Federal government develops sickle cell vaccine and others. We wanted to bring you the details of that because we talked about it a little bit earlier. Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Adeleke Mamora has announced that his ministry has developed sickle cell and venom vaccines. Hmm. He spoke on Monday, December 12th, at the 10th edition of the PMB Administration Scorecard Series 2015 to 2023. Mamora said the ministry achieved the use of local herbs for the production of drugs for sickle cell as the country had a high number of people with sickle cell anemia. Also announcing some of the achievements of the ministry, Mamora said, uh, there is also the development of an anti-venom vaccine, an anti-panic that reduces fat in the body. Mm. And the ministry, through Raw Material Research and Development Council program on development of the dairy sector, introduced the technology of increasing daily milk yield from cows from 1 to 1.5 liters of milk per cow to over 15 liters per cow in a day. Whoa. The National Space Research and Development Agency is also working to establish a space museum and a planetarium that is expected to realize about 30 billion naira, boost tourism activities, provide 5,000 direct jobs, 20,000 indirect jobs, and improve the teaching of STI. The future is full of optimism, as he says, as long as we keep faith and leverage on the enormous power of STI coupled with demand-driven R&D programs and projects. The fourth industrial revolution will register Nigeria's presence and effective participation, according to him, if it is sustained and escalated. Uh, this, I'm talking about this current commitment and interest in research and innovation as principal push factors for technological advancement. Enough has been said. Mm. So much was said about a that. Lot of and I'm actually. so happy. Now, <laughs> there was a time, very, uh, I think in the 80s or early 90s, there was a professor uh, called uh, Dr. Abalaka. Abalaka. He came up and said that he had, through herbs and some research, come up with a, um, a solution for HIV. Mm. He was practically shot down. And nobody heard anything about that anymore. And recently, when we had this COVID, there were some people that came out and said that they had actually developed some uh, drugs, some said some vaccines and all that, and nobody heard anything about them again. So my excitement is that we now believe that even in the Agbo, <laughs> that, that, that's what, what would be understandable enough. Even in the Agbo, there could mm. be solutions to very, very serious problems that we have. Of course. Wise. I mean, it's not news. Um, um, th these are things that we have at our disposal mm. that would have been you know, very much developed by now if we had taken advantage of it on yeah. time. But, yeah. you know, it's always a good time to start. Yeah. You know, uh, we're making progress. It's, it's a beautiful read that we just had yeah. this morning. Uh, it, it's good to know that, you know, we're actually making progress. We're putting in effort and we're making progress in the development and technology mm -hmm. um, climbs. Nice, amazing. But you know one problem I know I think that we have and we should work very hard to fight, especially as it concerns these vaccines and these new developments, is implementation. Mm. Implementation and then maintenance. So he might start this. Amazing stuff. What mm. happens when he leaves office? Yeah, that's, that's a problem that we... Well, continuity is the word that exactly. we should use. Because, uh, for instance, I always... I'm a farmer. And I always use this, that we once had a minister of uh, agriculture in the person of additional. I don't know how much better others could have been, but mm. I'm talking about the one who affected people, even in my rural area, because he had a system. It, so it was working, the things that he was doing, the, the policies that he was bringing to play, they were working, and the farmers were feeling the impact, even in the rural area. If there is a bag of uh, fertilizer to get to a particular farmer, it got to that farmer. If there was a generator, water pumping machine or something, it got to the people who registered for it. And once he left office, 
we didn't see all those things anymore <laughs> because continuity is not there. Yes. And like you expressed the fear, what if he leaves office and this thing has started in his time? Will the next person continue? If it needs policy, if it needs legislation, they should work towards it right mm -hmm. now so that whenever the person who started it leaves office, then the people will continue. Someone said, was it today on the program uh, or somewhere, that leaders think about the next generation. Politicians think about the next election. Mm -hmm. So we should start to have leaders in this country that will be thinking about 50 years to come, the people that are not yet born, people that have not even dreamt of having the... I don't even know how to put it, but the future. <laughs> I think you made your point. Very far in the future. <laughs> very far into yes. the future. All right, moving on to the newspaper headlines. These are the uh, top trending topics making rounds in the polity today. And we're starting off with the Vanguard newspaper, where this one says, federal government approves a boarding of Nigerians with expired passports. Okay. I don't even want to talk about it. I do, I, how? <laughs> I don't I want think to talk we should just, about it. Let's, let's go to this day. Well, let's go to this day. Whatever reason they had for doing that, is, it's fine. Uh, they must have thought about it very well. Uh, in this day, uh, Basenjo says, Nigeria at crossroads needs leader with right character. Mm. I think we've heard that a couple of mm -hmm. over a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And moving on to Premium Times, where it says, kill any miscreant found with gun hmm. Ebony government other security agencies and it's still here it says Tinubu's campaign replies arise tv and disney says allegations baseless <laughs> okay well uh, uh, so many people are very bold in this election so many people some people are timid some people uh, we can't even hear mm. uh, that they are contesting anymore. But there are some people that feel that, okay, uh, I've been here mm -hmm. and I know what it is. Mm -hmm. You can't intimidate me and all that. But be that as it may, I think the political class and those people contesting especially should respect the people. And the voice of the people, like the call the press uh, for the uh, estate of the realm, uh, should be respected is because it's like it's a representation of what the people on the streets are seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, so apart from the fact that we have people in the National Assembly that should have come from the stock uh, that we call the citizens of Nigeria, the press also, the media houses also go to the streets and f feel the pulse of the people. So whenever anybody is called upon, I think they should give us an answer to the questions that we ask, no matter how stupid they might sound. Mm -hmm. But in that stupidity, you will find out the level, at least the level of education, the level of awareness of the people you intend to govern. So I, I personally do not believe questions are stupid because questions are meant to enlightened they are meant to give more more education they are meant to yeah so if i'm if i'm asking you a question it's probably because i didn't understand and i'm trying to in mm -hmm. order not to make wrong assumptions and if you're going to be vying for a a position as sensitive as the first person of the country i mean as as sensitive as a presidential seat yeah. then you should be humble enough to answer questions yeah uh, Anyway, before we forget, remember that the PVC collection started yesterday. So go, not that it started yesterday, but they, it was decentralized from mm -hmm. yesterday. So you can go to your pooling unit now, get your PVC. Because from the 15th of January or so, they will return them to the local government headquarters. So now that you have the opportunity, please go to your polling area and make sure you get your PVC. That's when you can make a statement, ask the question, tell someone what to do mm -hmm. because you are the employer of labor with that your PVC. So do well to get it now. And this is where we draw the curtain on today's edition of the run-up. Thank you so much for being a part of it. We will bring you even more interesting segments, but that will be tomorrow, 11 a.m. My name is Uchechuku Onodo. And I am Nyamgul Agaji. Thanks for being there. <laughs>